would say do a YouTube channel about something you love that you will do the video for yourself first. Like I do mermaid videos, even if nobody was watching, I would do, I would do them because I like doing them. And this is a good way for you to be constant because it's, it's enjoyable. Um, don't do them for like the money. Uh, the YouTube ad revenue is not big. Uh, you mainly do it, the money that you will make from your videos or from other product. Like I make mermaid videos. I can sell mermaid tails. That's how I make mer money from it. I sell mermaid swimming lessons, but it's not from the ads directly. Um, and yeah, find successful YouTubers and hang out for them. Offer them your time for free to help them and learn from them. I think being with successful people is the way to go. Then, and yeah, just keep trying different things and do what, enjoy making your videos itself. Yeah, that's, that's so critical. I think it's just like really loving the process of, of what you do. I think that's like so applicable across whatever platform, whether it's YouTube or if you're running a blog or if you're doing a podcast or something, you kind of just need to be able to do it for free. And again, it's, it's, again, it ties back to like your business. You just, you just like these things. You were just very interested in those in swimming and you were interested in, in, in mermaids and, and princesses. And you just like, if the business didn't work out, you probably, I imagine you would still be like at the pool swimming yeah. with these mermaid that's fans, it. right? And yeah. I think that's the same. Like, like YouTube is like a small business, but I just enjoy it. And because it, like for my, just the business, like it took me two years of not paying myself a salary before it, it became successful. Then it's, it's hard work, but if you like it, it's, if you don't feel like you're working, like it's just really fun and people share your passion. And that's why a lot of business fail because people after a year, they're like, huh, this is not working. And, and that was something that um, a partner run a business. And after a year was like, you're exactly where you're supposed to be it's okay that you're not making profit and like you're just working things out, but like you need to have someone that knows business and say, Hey, no, keep working on it. You're exactly where you should be.